Hi, I'm Tyler Colt from Zenata Consulting, and this tutorial on segments and topic assignment inside of Zoho Campaigns was taken from our 2022 webinar. If you do find it useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. That really does help us out. And if you have any questions or feedback, leave that in the comment section as well. Uh, we read every single one. Enjoy. So segments here, if you have uh, worked with campaigns in the past, essentially what we're doing with segments is similar to how you used to set up the campaign syncs. Um, what you used to do is you'd come into your CRM and you'd create kind of like a filtered list inside of you know, your contacts or leads where you'd be using your field data. So I would do something like, you know, if interest contains newsletter, then put them into one of my custom views. Um, but what the team in, at Campaigns decided kind of smartly is that really a lot of that stuff should just be managed inside of Campaigns. Um, what that led to is, you know, you just have a ton of these different views and they're all just sitting there and no one ever touches them inside of CRM. They're only there to be used for your marketing. Um, but then if anyone who had access in CRM ever went in there and deleted it because they didn't know it was being used or, you know, they tweaked it, it could mess up your ongoing syncs. So now essentially what we're doing is doing that same type of field logic, but we're going to do it just natively inside of campaigns. Um, so here I'm going to go ahead and create a segment. Um, the only difference between a segment and a bulk segment is that a bulk is going to happen automatically. Um, most of the time you want to use segments. One case for a bulk segment would be, you know, maybe you pulled in their shipping state and you just wanted a segment for anyone that's in any of the 50 US states. If you do a bulk segment, it's just going to automatically spit out a segment for every single option in the field. Um, for our case, we'll go ahead and do just a single segment here. And we'll make this segment be newsletter segment. And it's going to end up tying into how we get them into that topic. And so here, you know, it's really similar to what you would do in the CRM. I can pick from any of the various fields that I have inside of campaigns. Um, in this case, we're just going to go ahead and grab the interests field. And now here, an important thing, especially if you're kind of using the same methodology with a multi-select, is that we want to use contains. Um, again, looking at our data on this side, while it can equal newsletter exactly, it could also equal newsletter and product information. And so to make sure that we actually capture everything that is, uh, you know, that references newsletter, we'll use one of these contains options. And then we'll just go ahead and say, if it does contain newsletter, consider that part of this segment. And so now kind of looking at the menu option here, it's now been created. It's kind of sitting here ready for us to use. Um, if we open it up and actually go into contacts, we'll see that it's dropped in our contacts here. Um, that have that associated. Now, one important thing to note with your segments is that they don't really care what mailing list something is in, right? So we'll see some of these are from our leads list and some of these are from our contacts list. And that's actually fine, right? Because if someone signed up for a newsletter and they're still a lead, you've never talked to them, or they could sign up for your newsletter and they're someone who you've done, you know, five or 10 different engagements with. And all the same, they should be getting associated into this segment so that we can actually mail out to them uh, properly and specifically, right, based on what they're interested in. But so really to make that work, there's one more thing that we need to do, and that's going to be under the workflows and automation section here. So the workflows inside of campaigns, um, kind of their primary use that most people are going to use them for is sending out a series of drip emails, right? But they can do a whole lot more than that. Um, we actually have a specific video set up on this on our YouTube channel, but I did just wanna cover this quickly so that everybody can see it. Um, what we'll show here is how using this segment, we can actually automatically add people to a topic. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a workflow. I'm just gonna create a new one here. I'm going to do a custom because I'm not actually going to send any emails at all with this. And most of these templates are going to be based on, you know, sending out emails. So I'll do a custom workflow here and I'll call it newsletter 
topic assignment. And I'll create that. And so I'm going to do kind of a deeper dive into these later in the webinar here, but essentially we'll have a trigger condition. So what's going to enter a contact into this workflow. So for us, that will be entering a segment. And so for us here, we'll choose our segment and we'll say, if they're in the newsletter segment, send them down this path. And now here we can choose if it should only count for new people, people that are already in the segment now, or new people going forward and the existing. Nine times out of 10, you're just gonna leave it on this top option unless you have a specific reason not to. So I'll go ahead and save that. And now we need to tell it is what we want it to do when they enter this segment. And so again, right, we could send emails, we can send SMS, but that's not what we wanna do here. All we really want to do here is go into the subscription management option. We'll configure that. And we want to associate them with a topic, right? So right here, we can actually do this action without ever sending them an email just to drop them into that particular topic group. Um, you know, other things you could do is unsubscribe them, you know, mark them as non-marketing, unsubscribe them from every topic. But for our use case, this is really all we need to do right, is essentially just drop them in. Once they enter the segment, just automatically associate them across to that topic. So I'll go ahead and just activate and launch this. And it will now be kind of running in the background for us. And so every contact that was part of that segment before is going to automatically become associated with that topic. And then any new contact that comes in is also going to flow just directly over to that particular topic. And so this will just kind of keep that list clean for you. Make sure that everybody who kind of runs through this ends up where they need to go and gets opted in for the particular communications that they need. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you did find it useful, please again, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Uh, that really helps us out and it'll make sure that uh, YouTube shows you our videos in the future when we put out more tutorials just like this one. Um, if you do have any questions or feedback, uh, make sure to leave those in the comments as well. We really do appreciate that. Helps us get better and better. And uh, after all that, we will uh, see you on our next tutorial video.